Bow. Yeah, man, we back at it with another fucking video, man. You know what's going on, man. Apparently, FaZe Rain is exposing FaZe Clan. If y'all don't know who FaZe Rain is, he used to be a fucking sniper slash trick shotter. Like, on Modern Warfare, on Call of Duty's back in the day. You feel me? Since then, it's been a it's been like years since he's... I ain't gonna say since he played Modern Warfare, but he was on some rapping taking drugs type shit like i don't want him to be i ain't gonna say that's what you're going for but as the years progress you know a lot of people that used to play call of duty from like phase and all those they kind of made started making like vlogs and you know what i'm saying etc etc other videos like that but let's see what he got to say about uh his clan or former clan i don't know so I'm making this video so I at least can explain some things before I go into detail for detail. I know a lot of people are saying, you're milking this, you're milking this, just tell us already, just tell us already. This is a decade-long problem, man, with a lot of legal shit around that. So now it's turned into multiple problems. It's not just the initial problem I had in the beginning. It's a lot deeper than that. And yes, I'm going to say this now because they're probably going to try to say, well, he's only doing this because we owe him money and he's mad. It's, they do owe me money, yes, and they haven't taken care of me, yes, and the money that I bought the Counter-Strike team for... Won't pay it unless I sign an NDA. Never speak on what they do. Took him six years to pay me back. Yes, I never got a dollar or a brand deal. Yes, that's all. They're gonna say that, and that is a frustration of mine. But I obviously held that in for years. I held that frustration in for years, and it was never the reason that I was gonna do this or speak publicly. Because if they just owed me money, I would have handled it a different way. This is a lot deeper than that, and a lot of my brothers don't see the actual issue here. They are being taken advantage of. I have to be careful with what I say. Oh, it's yes, I did get fucked over, but that's not it. And what made me think about it, like, dude, if I'm one of the biggest shareholders, I'm one of the founders, I'm one of the main people of this brand, and they're gonna fuck me over, like, who else won't they do that to? And when I said, like, it's easier to sit back and take the money, I didn't make one. It's not what I mean, but I do have shares that are worth money right now. Who knows what the future holds, right? Who knows what the future holds? I just don't feel like this is a very, um, halal interaction. I don't feel like this is very transparent, safe, honest. I don't feel none of that. It's a Phase Rain is Muslim? Now that I'm thinking about it, I think we did. I think I seen a video of his mom's or some shit like that. And you know what? That would kind of make sense. Okay. A lot of like reassurance of stuff that's never going to come true. And every single person knows that, but they still fall for it. I don't know why. It's the corruption in the background. It's people that get involved that aren't part. Like they're not like us, bro. And that's the reason I'm fighting so hard is because I'm fighting for the future me's. People that are like me. People that sacrifice their life, their childhood to do this shit and to build this shit. They deserve what comes. Not the fucking people that were talking shit about us 10 years ago saying you guys are wasting your time. Then come in now and own most of the shit and give themselves what they want. Take advantage of us because we're dumb and young and don't know business like that. I don't want that to happen to you guys. I want to learn that lesson. I want to take the L, which I already... I ain't gonna lie, he pissing me off with this. This is why shit around his mouth. I know he probably a little, you know what I'm saying, energetic and uh, passionate right now, but that shit is nasty. I hate seeing shit like that. Uh, on another note, it seemed like he talking about, like, deals and shit like that. And if he talking about deals and et cetera, like the business side of it, because it's always business. To when, when it comes to making money, there's always going to be a business side. It sounds like he's insinuating... That these niggas is out here giving these gamers, these gamer, uh, I guess these guys who own these these big gaming fucking teams or whatever, sound like he he they, he's saying that they out here giving niggas three sixty deals and all of that, and y'all don't know the business, so y'all getting fucked like the rappers is. That's what is that's what I'm getting from this like this little part. Did by the way. Whoa that to happen to you guys i want to learn that lesson i want to take the l which i already did by the way shit is nasty Man, you talking about gas and teach you guys about it. that's what i've said about everything with my injury with everything in life every l i've took i try to spread the wisdom that i got from that to y'all that's why i do all this and i feel like it should show more because i'm a big shareholder and i'm willing to give it all up for this because i care because i genuinely care about faith i care about what it did for the community i care about how it just opened up so many doors for a lot of people for different things i think it's beautiful and i want it to always mean that i don't want these people to come in and ruin the brand that i sacrificed my childhood for i don't want people to come in and just milk it and do collab after collab that do bad by the way but it's just like they think the logo has a fan base like the logo is a person everyone's like, oh my god i can't wait to see the logo no it, it the logo represents a collection of people that make people feel a certain way that's what the logo was like they don't get this shit they're not from our world they don't consume our content they don't feel the same way we feel they don't really care about our fans they're numbers to them i that is true 
That is that's very true, man. FaZe has over the years has grown and become such a big conglomerate that it's just like and we we working with y'all because we see that it could benefit not only us but the youth and etc. So we gonna make this collab happen type shit. So I mean, to 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 the people who I ain't gonna say most, but some yeah, it's probably just about the bread, bro, for a hundred and ten percent. But you, when you making money and when you you have a conglomerates like Phase who who not only touch the youth but the 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 older guys kinda. Like, that's anybody that's gaming, uh, you know what I'm saying, in that spectrum. Hey, man, you're going to have people coming in wanting to do collabs and wanting to sit down and, and be a part of the brand, bro. Because they, they see it's beneficial or they see that they can make money. <laughs> it's fucked up to say, but, man, this shit is about making money at the end of the day, man. So, however they fit in, they're going to make it happen, man. But, yeah, I think they should be a little bit more aware of the business and who they are collaborating with and who they are letting in because... Later on down the line, those relationships can't make or break the team or make or break the brand. So, yeah. Matt, how many fucking fans have I met in my life? I don't even fucking know. Since I was 15 years old, I met my first fan. I meet them all the time. I love you guys. If you guys are a person, any person that's ever met me in real life, tell them how I've treated you. For real. I love my fans. I know I do. And I and all my fans end up being the creators or the fans, right? They end up being consumers and they end up supporting FaZe and all these brands. But they don't even know who they're supporting at this point. They, like people support it thinking that you're helping out your creator, but you're not. You know, you think like even when you guys buy like the Batman comic, you like, think I'm getting a doll from that, even my face is on that? No. It's like they don't talk about that and they're still not transparent with like who has how much shares, how much it's worth. They'll tell you, you have this much, it's good. There's just so much that I want to tell y'all, man. There's so much and I will go detail for detail. I'm going to break it the fuck down. From the second I joined FaZe, I'm going to break down how everything went. Ask anybody also that knows me, ask me about my memory. Really ask me about my memory. They might try to discredit me now, but they know that I remember everything. I can't help it. I can't help I'm built this way. I can't help that God made me this way. I will never fold. I will never be like you. I will never I will never take a check. And it's so sad some of y'all are taking checks and deals and you're shutting your fucking mouth, even though you know this is fucked up, and it's a lot less than what the fuck I already have. It's sad to me. It's like, no way I'm willing to give up more. Don't act like I'm still the old phase. A fat phase. I'm still living off fat phase raised money, okay? I obviously haven't had an income or anything like that. So it's like easier for me, by the way, to just shut the fuck up, take the money, fix my life, deal with all my problems, and you know, just be another NPC, but I just can't do it as a man, bro. I can't, I can't fold, bro. It, may, it would like make me feel terrible if I just said, you know what, yeah, I'll just take the money. Give me my money, I'll shut the fuck up. You guys keep fucking over everybody, it's fine. I don't care, whatever. Keep telling people you're gonna fix it, even you're not gonna fix it. Like, no, I'm not doing that, bro. I wish I was Kanye, I could far, fall back on 400 M's. It'd be a lot easier to do this shit. But again, I'm probably gonna get sued out of this. Things are probably gonna happen. Dude, I don't care what happens, as long as the truth is out and people get what happened. And people understand and start understanding how these industries work. I think that it's already happened to so many other industries and I don't want it to happen to this one. I think people like Aiden and Kai Sinat, they're still like giving hope. I love seeing the creators that are making and speak. Hey man, big shout out to motherfucking Kai. You know what I'm saying? Big W shout out to Kai. Shout out to Aiden too because he definitely broke down some doors and and, and and pushed the envelope. But yeah, shout out to, shout out to them guys. Man. Of course, they're making so much money without yeah, any them. like agency around them by oh, themselves. Okay, okay. I love to see. Yo, it's crazy. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. It's crazy how this shit goes now. Like, I remember when I first started watching like people like Phase and Optic and stuff, and I was seeing like it was kind of like obviously that many brands and all these different people weren't involved, so it was more like a a free agent kind of thing. Like maybe had a couple of sponsorships, some shit like that, because they gotta keep the lights on. But like. Now it's to the point where like you get in deals, like even with like all this shit has evolved. Like from when I watched it back then, it was mainly just content creators coming together and making like big ass groups like Phase and Optic. Those were the first two gaming ones I ever seen. Then now it should spread it out. All these different people have these different sponsorships, these different deals. Now they get into contracts. Now they get a certain amount of lump sum off of this and doing that, and and. And even like podcasts, they paying niggas millions of dollars to do podcasts and everything. It's like, yo, this shit has really evolved into something that social media has really helped monetizing like content, like to, to such an extreme that you can do this shit by yourself. Like, yeah, you could get deals and stuff, but at the same time, like you could do like, look, you could do this shit from your fucking, your house, your basement, as long as you got the right, uh, either the right connections or the right tools at your disposal, bro, like. It's crazy, so, like, if I was any of you guys, like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do this shit independent, like, without, like, any big corporations, but, like, 
if you do get into the business side of it, man, make sure you know your fucking business, man. Like, make sure you're very versed and very informed on what you're getting yourself into, what's the future hold, what's the present hold, and, you know what I'm saying, make sure that you navigate through that shit properly, you know what I'm saying. With, with, with the utmost... With the utmost respect, because you may be down for the moment, but you may be up, or you may be up for the moment. You may come down. You feel me? So yeah, just 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 handle that shit with elegance and all that. See, that is the beauty in a content creator. You don't need these fucking old people to dictate what the fuck you do and take this advantage of you just for right. money, man. You don't. And I've always hated. I've always been against. It. I don't want other people's money. I don't want investors. I don't want none of that shit. I don't, because you can just, McFaze had enough of a community to make money on its own, but they just don't think the way we do because they're not creators like us. They don't actually live this life. They'll go to the fucking warehouse, and then after that, they'll go do their boomer shit. They ain't, they ain't watching videos. They're not paying attention to who's popping and why they're popping. They don't care. And you can you can bring up the drug shit. I don't give a fuck. You can, if anybody who knows me knows I'm sober as hell right now, they know I'm not on nothing. They know how my life's been. I don't care. Keep using that excuse to try to discredit me. Don't care. It is what it is, right? Let three months of my life define everything I've done over the last decade. It's fine. You can do you. Believe what you want to believe. I'm not you're trying to convince you guys and make you guys be like, oh my God, I want you on my side. No, believe what you want to believe. If you think it's correct and you can understand that, well, it's just business and that's how business goes. Okay, cool. That's how you think and you're a piece of shit. That's, that's, that's it to me. You know what I mean? If you think it's fine for people who take advantage of people that obviously don't know business and just to take advantage of them and set themselves up in a place to where they can earn a lot of money and they can earn a lot of shares and get a huge exit while these people made it and did it and we're stuck to it. What happens if the stock ends up, you know, crashing? Who's it going to fall on? Obviously not the motherfuckers in the back. It's going to be like Phase Ray and Phase Apex, Phase Alex or Adapt or whatever. Like, and that's what's going to fall on. It's not going to fall on them. It's going to be on us. So we're going to take the L for something we didn't fucking do. Again. Again. So it's like, I'm sick of that. I'm so sick of that. It's like, I don't know. But it is what it is, right? I don't want to get like annoyed. I have to stay calm. I always understand that like, I know I know what I'm talking about, but then my emotions let me, you know, they, they take me to another place and I end up being wrong because of the way that I handle it. But I have to stay calm so that I get my point across, people understand it, and they know that I'm not just emotionally, you know, saying shit. Because that's what I don't like. I don't like the same things to say. I have to mean it has to be 100% true. So yeah, you know, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I don't give a fuck, y'all. So basically it sounds like niggas got fucked up in the contract. He on some shit like... He's like the worker bee. For the, for the for the company, him and all those other guys that work at bees, and obviously, there's a hierarchy in the company, which is, you know, he's like the worker, people above him is like supervisor, manager, or whatever the fuck, then you probably got a boss, and you got, I mean, probably you got a, I don't know, CEO boss, and you got somebody above them, you know how this shit go, he's probably upset that, you know what I'm saying, Sh shit, shit went a different way, he wanted it, he wanted the company to stay independent, and then, they probably brought in outside entities, and it probably fucked up. You know what I'm saying? What he had in mind for the for the future of the business side of it. But he was in capacity. I'm not gonna say on capacity, but he was on he was on his own journey at that time, so he probably didn't have a say so. And he's a big apparently he's a big holder in the company or one of the founders. So he was supposed to have some kind of say, but he was on his own shit. So I mean, hey man. But damn, they owe him money? Hmm. Man, he said he could get sued for this shit. That's fucking crazy. Y'all can turn on me. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. I'm fighting for you still. That's what you don't get. Even while y'all are turning on me, I'm still fighting for y'all. You probably, don't get it. He probably, talk, you he probably talking about the other dudes they use naming, like Phase Apex, Phase Adapt, and all those other guys. Mm. They probably take NDAs out to talk about it, but this shit is kind of this shit is kind of crazy. Like I assumed everybody was was fucking uh was 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 good, but I don't really be seeing too many people talk about certain shit like this. So that's kind of. It's kind of a good thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Spread awareness for the for the future, for the for the kids that may not know, or the, the kids that are trying to do this shit for real. Like, it's a business side to this shit. Like, be aware. Okay, because this all started when I asked for more for y'all. I was trying to get y'all more, and then they realized, oh shit, he's trying to fucking cause a problem. He's not just complying, and then they start fucking with me. And then for and then like you don't even stand up for me. I was standing up for y'all, and nobody stands the fuck up for me. Fuck y'all, for real. I don't fuck with none of y'all. And if you feel like the shoe fits right now, wear it, bitch. I love you guys so much. You guys are the best. You guys are the only thing holding me down, for real. I love you guys to death, man. For real. Okay. Right then and there, I'm pretty sure that interaction, he was talking about his phase, his, his phase clan members or former. Because I don't know if he's still, he's probably still phase. He's still got the shit in his name. But it'll probably be a lot to take it out. That's crazy. Hey man, let me know what y'all think down below, man. Is he good? is he on? Is he bugging out? Is he stating some facts? I don't really know how these contracts and shit go, uh, as far as when you work when you're a part of a big team or when you just when you're a part of a big team or when you just like have 
a conglomerate like like kind of like give me paying you the money or whatever it gives me be so y'all let me know how this go I'm it's giving me fucking music music career vibes like also niggas done gave it they got 360 or just they got a bad deal and he took the brunt of that shit but man let me know man like comment subscribe man we're gonna be at it with another one man bye